Welcome to Digital Asset News, taking top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we're doing a quick addendum to a video we did a couple of days ago. So a couple of days ago, uh, there was a piece that we talked about and it was about it's a bubble. And this was from a Harvard financial historian. But in the very beginning of the video, I talked about, and for a very long time, I had, uh, about scams, how to report these scams, and everything else. It was, I think the video was like 28 minutes, and I, I spent a whopping 10 minutes uh, on the first part of it. And uh, uh, first of all, I will never uh, talk that long about scams again. In the very beginning, um, uh, I will always be pushing it to the end uh, as far as the scam of the day. But this is just an addendum because in one of those pieces or, or one part of the video, I talked about how when a scam video pops up when you're about to watch a video of your favorite YouTuber or during the middle or the end, some type of uh, scam video might pop up and you can click on the, uh, you know, skip the ad. And I said, don't do that because this is a prime opportunity to report this ad. And people are like, well, I can't do that. There's no way to do that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through and show you how to just take 20 seconds and wipe out these scam videos without downvoting and reporting your favorite YouTuber, which this scam video is playing on in the beginning, middle, or end. So before I go on to that, I needed to you know, put everything in context. This is from July 10th. And this is from Whale Alert on Medium.com. If you don't know Whale Alert, uh, on Twitter, it's a, it's a pretty cool account. They do tracking analytics, and they report uh, large investments and moves of like whales and things like that. And they were also able to uh, show like how many people are getting scammed and how much money is being put into these scam accounts. So it was a really helpful, it still is a very helpful uh, uh, Twitter account. And they they put all their, their data, data together and they wrote this little quick piece. And they said, um, for the criminals, there is almost no risk involved while victims' lives are being destroyed. And that's totally true because in today's video, uh, we went, went over, there was an article which talked about how uh, Ripple had actually sued YouTube for using the CEO Brad Garlinghouse's um, image and video in scam uh, videos that were being put out by these scammers. And the legal team pretty much just went forth in the litigation and said, hey, uh, it's, it's not our fault. Uh, we're not responsible for that. And uh, yeah, it's our platform, but it's just not our fault. So really what it's saying to everybody is like, hey, um, you can put these scams up and uh, it's not going to uh, make a difference because you know what, we're not going to take responsibility for it, even though it is on our platform. So that's a big problem. So then you have to remember something about uh, scams. And that is that uh, if you've been involved in cryptocurrency digital assets for a while, you know the game. You know what time it is, and it's not really surprising. But you have to remember, there's new people coming in, and they don't know what's going on. And they're like, what's an airdrop? And what's a fork? And what's a cryptocurrency? I don't know what that is. But, uh, well, someone's going to give me, you know, a little bit more Bitcoin for one Bitcoin. Maybe that's what an airdrop is. I have no idea what that is. It's just so weird to me. So that you have to understand that uh, everybody's in a different position. So it's up to us to help the community. And this has actually been affirmed in what Whale Alert is actually saying here in their Medium post. And they said, hey, we've used all our data and analytics and so far we've been able to confirm $38 million in Bitcoin alone, just Bitcoin, have been stolen by scammers over the past four years. So remember that, 38 million in four years. However, 24 million of which has been during the first six months of 2020. Let me read that again, $24 million during the first six months of 2020. Some of the most successful scams made over 130,000 a single day with nothing more than a one page website, Bitcoin address and a decent amount of YouTube advertising. So if you take a look at uh, how much is actually being scammed, uh, we're just going up folks and uh, there's no way it's gonna slow down. So this is a problem. And it goes on to state that the change in method and the increase in quality and scale suggests that entire professional teams are now behind some of the most successful ones, and it's just a matter of time before they start using deep fakes. You know what a deep fake is? It's uh, you know, putting a, a representation of another person's face onto a body, onto a video. Just search deep fake, you'll, you'll see it. And uh, every year, it gets a little better. Before you know it, it's you, you're never gonna be able to tell the difference, which is a technique that will surely revolutionize the scam market. Going on in states, the market is rapidly growing. Its impact on people's lives becoming more substantial. Should victims have known better? Yeah, sure but scams is the first introduction to blockchain for money, and this is where the community fails the most. Local regulation and enforcement will do little to stop scammers, 
So the responsibility lies with the community. And then the last piece, it says one thing is very clear. Whatever is being done is not enough to stop it. And the reputation of blockchain might not be able to recover in the long run. So here's the thing. We're in 2020. Uh, this is going to be a big year, but I think 2021 is going to be a bigger year. So if we have people coming in, doesn't matter what age group they are, demographic, doesn't matter. Uh, they're going to keep getting scammed. And then once they get scammed, they're like, hey, this is exactly what I heard it was. It is used for uh, terrorism, the dark net, hiring hitmen, and all the crazy, stupid things that you've heard too, which are just false. But they're going to start to believe it because there's nothing but scams and scams and scams out there. Nothing legitimate has this many scams, okay? So when you have one person get scammed, that person tells 10. 10 tells 100, 100 tells 1,000, and off we go. And before you know it, it's hard to get your reputation back. So let's stop this right now uh, before it gets a little bit way out of control. And let me say this. I did a quick poll, and I asked the question, who decides which ads are placed in each YouTube video? And out of the 416 votes, 78% uh, said only YouTube is responsible for that. But what was shocking to me uh, was that 20%, one out of five essentially, uh, said, yeah, I think it's either you or either the channel creator themselves or both YouTube and the channel decide which ads are being placed on the video. So right now I'm here to tell you with 100% guarantee, I have no control over what ads are put on my channel. So like crazy for cryptos here, love this guy, great information, you should follow him. Uh, when I clicked on his video, this scam came up. So it's not like he picks scams because that, that would make no sense. So we have no control over it, okay? It is YouTube and their algorithm and they decide what it is. So let me back up and explain to you how to get rid of when this scam comes up uh, on your feed when you're trying to watch your favorite YouTuber and you don't want to, you know, report or downvote your favorite YouTuber, you want to report this specific video. So we need to get into this video in some way. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so here we are, and I was perusing YouTube, and I came across uh, Crazy for Cryptos, another one of his great videos. And uh, when I clicked on it, I got this scam ad. We know it's a scam because it says, you know, send us one ETH, you give uh, 10 ETH back. No one does that. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. So we know it's a scam. Uh, so what I'm looking for is, and let me be clear, I'm on my my uh, MacBook Pro. I'm on my, my uh, laptop. I'm not on my phone. You cannot do this on mobile devices. I've already tried numerous times. So what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a way to report this because if I report... Uh, if I downvote this, then I downvote, you know, create Digital Dave's video. And if I click the three dots and report it, I'm actually reporting crazy for crypto. So what I need to do is look for a way to report this scam video. First thing I do is I can skip, I can press on here. And it's going to take me to this uh, website. And so when you look at this, you're like, what the heck is going on? And it's just, this actually took me a while to figure out because what they're doing is they are putting up this this website so when YouTube reviews the video, because it always YouTube will always have to review uh, where the landing page is, meaning when you click on the ad, where does it send that person? So if there's some kind of landing page where it looks nefarious and looks very uh, dangerous or, you know, has something they don't like, they will not approve your ad. But see what they did is they did this where you can uh, go on this and it looks like it's about coffee. And you're like, oh, OK. So what's going on in the background is that the YouTube uh, AI is actually doing this and they're searching for what the landing page is and it reads it real quick and goes, OK, coffee tastes awful, whole bean coffee. OK, this is safe. No big deal. Let's approve this ad. And what happens is, is in a couple of seconds, because I actually slowed this down, I actually stopped this. For the first six to 10 seconds, this is what you see. But after 10 seconds, you see this. And then boom, so this little page pops up. And this is a great way to get past uh, the YouTube uh, learning machines or the AI. So the first, actually, I, I think it's actually showing that. I think it's like three or four seconds is what it shows. And then immediately it uh, transfers over to this. So if you're a person who's like, oh, this looks like a airdrop or this looks like, a, I mean, I don't know what this is because I'm new to cryptocurrency, I'm not for sure. Uh, when you look at this, you're like, oh, okay, so this was just a thing, a glitch, and now I'm just gonna uh, send over my, my 10 ETH so I can get my 100 ETH back. So uh, that's what's going on when they click on this. And now it makes sense. So uh, I think to myself, well, Maybe YouTube is not so complicit after all, but who knows? So let's jump back to how we can actually report this. 
Okay, so we're back at the actual uh, scam video. And so what I'm looking for again is I'm like, okay, I don't want to uh, report Digital Dave. I want to report this scam, but I have to figure out, you know, where this is coming from. So just so you know, uh, every video that advertisers use, they have to upload it to the YouTube platform. It has to be done. It can't be external. So this video is being hosted somewhere in YouTube. So what I'm looking for is the actual channel that is hosting this scam video. So if I look over here in the top left hand corner, see that says foods, metallic buterin, that's the secret. So we're gonna click on that. That's gonna take us to the actual scammers um, YouTube channel. So I'm looking at some like foods, what is this? Foods, 144,000 views, what is this? Is this a video? And I click on it and what it is, is it is actually the video of the scam itself. So that foods that we just saw, that was just a thumbnail and it was it was put there to throw us off or the youtube algorithm so let's get rid of this so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the dislike we're gonna put a thumbs down and then we're gonna do three dots here and then we're gonna report it and we're gonna say this is a scam spammer misleading choose one scams and fraud just like how we've always done with all the other ones and then uh we're gonna click next and we're just gonna say hey this is a scam and then click report and that should do it. And just be just to notice that uh, here, I'm gonna close out, it says Vitalik Buterin, not crazy for cryptos, so we know we got the right channel to report. And that's it, so that's really all there is to it. Now look, I, um, I'm trying to be a little more aggressive with these scammers because there's no reason why they should be allowed to run free and do what they do. So instead of us you know, just learning about it and saying we'll avoid this and avoid that, I want us to be a little more proactive. So when we see these things, I want to take them down as fast as possible because if we just sit idly by and let them keep doing the things they're doing and just have us try to ignore it, it's like trying to ignore your, your house being on fire. Uh, at some point, you're going to have to put out that fire or else it's going to consume uh, your whole place where you live. So let's just uh, get together and try to do these things really quickly. It doesn't take long. Uh, it takes longer to learn about it than it is to actually shut these scams down. All right, so that's it. I want to say thanks so much for sticking with me. Um, if you've got time, there's going to be a couple more videos going to come up, pop up to your left and right. I don't know what they are. They're all uh, generated by YouTube. And uh, check those out. And that is it. So thanks for sticking with me, and I'll see you on the next one.